No, when we are done with this, the questions end. No! We're just you gonna have a go long time to go with me, I was gonna say, let's go fast. <laughs>I know you all uh, know how to play this game. It's memory. And I'm gonna test your memory as I'm asking you questions. And since I know y'all are athletes, we're gonna make it do what it do, okay? We're gonna make it happen. Okay. <laughs> it's the nervousness for me. <laughs> it's the nervousness for me. You're gonna be playing throughout the whole time. So don't mind me, like I'm gonna be asking, y'all will be flipping. I do two at the same time. Yeah, you right? can, yeah. And y'all can like do it together, <laughs> work together as a team. Now you see that no. these memories are happening right now. Got it. I want to know from each of you what your most impactful soccer memory was. Whether oh. that be the history of the U.S. Women's National Team or um, just your play or growing up. I feel like for me in my experience, got one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the most impactful for me was uh, our equal pay lawsuit and mm -hmm. winning that. Um, just because I feel like it was like such a generational thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the fight started way before us, and um, <laughs> I think that like me in my time playing, it's very unique. I feel it's very millennial of me where I got to. <laughs> These are see, your children. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, get to see it when yeah, like are her children. It, it didn't like we had to fight a lot, and then they'll get to benefit from it like tenfold. So I think yeah. that was super impactful. Yeah. Did we already do this one? Oh. Are Trin. you about to like really like trick Trin. Trin. Am I supposed Is to help that you? One? Yeah, that one? No, so you have players like Adi Wamba who guys. have been on the front lines and going through all of this to make a better um, tomorrow for y'all or a better yeah. present for y'all. Alyssa, how about how about you? <laughs> She's like, yes. yes. <laughs> what does it mean to know that you have come after these pioneers? It's really amazing, honestly, because I get to be like on a team with them too, mm -hmm. and I get to see like all the hard work that they've put into. Oh, um, you, got you that know one. that oh, one. I got you that know one. that one. You, you got this one. Okay, uh, I get to see all the hard work that they've put into like um, talking about equal play pay and just um, like the environment here, I got it. everything. I got it. I got it. <laughs> It's super amazing and very professional, so I'm so happy that I get to be stepping into something that's already like already good and continuing to make it better. Now, Trinity, you are one that has established such a name for yourself, not only your talent, but off the field amazing. things. You can you can turn that into coin, right? Miss Mama's is paid. <laughs> Miss Mama's is paid, period. Oh. What advice do you have for <laughs> those out there? Right now? It's She's like, like, I don't even know what I'm talking about. What advice do you have for those out there trying to monetize their brand? And how can they just really create a name for themselves in order to like push the game forward? I just think it's really important to like be a human off the field. Yeah, I can't like I physically cannot multitask. Like it would be bad. Like I think it's really important to connect with people off the field like it's one thing to be like a really talented player on the field and have your creativity and personality and role with the national team but it's another thing to be able to connect with people outside of that if that's social media if that's through branding if that's through equal pay like in any type of way I feel like it's important for the younger generation to be able to connect with those how do you bridge the gap between you know your younger teammates and your older teammates? I think you're like smack in the middle, right? So yeah. like you have the best of both worlds. Lucky lucky ass millennials. <laughs> like, like very like early 30 millennials. How do you bridge the gap? That's a great question. We're doing things like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're gonna talk about yeah. these moments. Yeah, no, I think that every team has that issue as well of like you have an older group and a younger group. I feel like my journey on this team. I am like a veteran, but haven't been here for as long as like somebody like Megan or Alex. I also feel like I'm not that old. So, <laughs> so, I, so See, my legs are still yeah. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, exactly. So I just think like getting out there and like actually trying to connect and talk to your younger teammates. I think that like when you get on the field and you have to go into battle, knowing that somebody has your back, like you have to know each other off the field. Taking the time that you're not just gonna go with like your your people, get involved and get in there and like actually talk to each other and figure out what they like, figure out what like Pino likes and I'm just here. <laughs> you're just, I'm here, just here in the just middle. Just bringing it all together. <laughs> She's the glue. What are some like fun team traits that y'all have? Because you say get to know you off the field. I need to know. What are some fun moments? Wait, who's the funnest out of the three of y'all? This is the thing. <laughs> we, we know that they 
<laughs> they talk a lot uh -huh. in their own group. And then we're like, we see your TikToks, we see all this stuff, and then we get to the field, and I'm like, hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Wait, what? We're just shy. Yeah, yeah but are you shy? shy? Are you shy? Yeah. Oh my god, the ability to like create your own persona because you're running around like doing all the things. Yeah, I, I see. I'm like, I'm fake. Alyssa, you <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, how do you, Alyssa, for you, I'm assuming these are the people that you looked up to growing up and you're already shy, or so she says. Yeah, we know she's not. I, well, okay, I am, I am shy when I first meet people, like just in general. I feel like I'm just that type of person. I'm not very like extroverted. So just being able to have like teammates just come up to me like Lynn or Crystal or like playing with them more definitely helps like get to know them on the field. And I think it helps off the field too because having that relationship when you're playing makes it a lot easier to be like, okay, like, ha like talk about soccer, but then like you could get into like life too, which is really helpful. And knowing like, I know no matter what, everyone on this team like has my back. And when we're on the field, we're all fighting for one thing. So it's nice knowing that and like off the field, like you could tell that everyone wants to get to know you and is happy that you're here and stuff like that. Let's get into what y'all are fighting for. There's a big situation coming up, <laughs> a big, a big event coming up. And there's a lot of expectations. I'm assuming the goal is the goal. I don't want to speak for y'all, but the gold is the gold. Of course. <laughs> is what pressure comes along with that? And have y'all ever sat down to really digest what it means, the legacy of the U.S. Women's National Team? Do you get a moment to really sit down and like <laughs> She's like, I'm tired. There's months like, away. <laughs> I, don't, I think that you, like, you worry of the legacy when you're retired. While you're in it, mm -hmm. like you're in it. This team's legacy is winning. And that's a habit, though. That doesn't happen just overnight. Like winning is a habit in bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, we have a standard that is so high, and if we when we don't meet that expectation, it's it's anything other than that is is a fail for us. And so I think that's why this environment is so crazy and psychotic. But that's what makes <laughs> us amazing. Like Alyssa said, like when you get to know each other off the field and then you come onto the field you're like we have a goal in mind that is so like the expectation is high and it's even higher now because we are trying to go for a three p it's mm -hmm. never been done um our, our team is young mm -hmm. we will always have a target on our back so i don't think you can like think about the legacy when you're in it you're like i have to like live into this legacy i can't think of like what about everything that's already happened <laughs> Like we're all fours, we're all obviously like competing for a spot, but we're also competing for the same goal at the same time. Trinity being her best self is gonna make Alyssa her best self, mm -hmm. is gonna make me my best self. So that, that's what this team is about, is just putting your head down and fighting. And I think that's what makes this team so different is that it's not like, oh, I wanna beat her out, or oh, I'm salty. Like it's, we wanna make each other better if we're on the starter team or if we're not, if we're playing against each other, if we're with each other, like we're still, asking those questions and like finding ways to like be better and I think we're so open and receptive and like there to push each other that I mean it makes the environment so much better because you know you have the support while also being at the highest level. Coach said hey you made the team and you're like this has been in my mind for a long time what is the main thing that you've been thinking about over the years? For me it's not like when I got the call I didn't feel accomplished mm. and that's that's a weird thing to say like I was so excited to make this team, but I feel like the call was only the start of like what the journey had in store for me. And I don't know if anybody feels similarly, but I feel like obviously the call is amazing and I let it sunk in, like sink in, but now it's like, it's not even close to done. Like my next mindset was like, okay, now I gotta earn my spot. Now I gotta become better so that I get the next call, the next World Cup, the Olympics, like whatever. So I think, for me, it was almost like more nervous after I got the call. Like there was a little sense of relief, but then after that, I was like, now I gotta deliver. Oh shoot, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Lynn, you had a similar situation where I, I'm assuming about, it's, it's beginning for you and you have a fulfillment um, to happen. And the coach said to you, I, you're gonna give that extra um, that the extra things that we need. What extra do you bring to the team? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, his words, not mine. No, I think that, um, yeah, I feel like I have like a, a big engine, like when it comes to like fitness and just like will say. to get the ball back. 
And I think that like sometimes like the game isn't going your way. And so like as a forward, obviously we always want to score, mm -hmm. but like sometimes it's just not going your way. So in my head, I'm like, okay, what else can I bring? I'll just like, if we're getting scored on, they're not coming up down this side. Like it's not going to get scored on this side. So I just think like that, but then off the field, like no matter what my role is, like I will be whoever's biggest cheerleader. Mm -hmm. if, if my role is to be on the bench, then I will like lose my voice because I just will be that person's biggest cheerleader. So I don't know. Hopefully he sees that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ask him. Just the extra, the extra um, yeah. Alyssa, how was your call? Um, it was nice because <laughs> I... <laughs> I <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, so I mean, nice. <laughs> like, I was with, like, all my family at my house, and we were, like, kind of, like, expecting a call. And once he texted me, like, can I call you in five minutes, I was like, Everything hit me at once, and I was like really hot. I was sweating, and well, I was she's just to red. <laughs> <laughs> I was just she's waiting, hot. waiting for the call. And then once I got it, it was definitely relief. Like mm -hmm. I have been working for this for like so long, and I always wanted to be on the World Cup team. Um, and I just was shocked that it happened so soon. Mm -hmm. And just being able to be surrounded by the people that helped me get there was the best feeling. Dope, but he called you a generation. A lot of people call you a generational talent. Why are you a generational talent? Brag on you. you. Yeah, haven't you seen her play? Like, <laughs> She's why. like, I don't know. And Lynn's like, let me tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> um, gosh, I feel like maybe because I like play with confidence on the field mm -hmm. and when I am playing, I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm just like, I really want to get to goal, and I like taking people on 1v1 and um, oh, scoring, so. Oh, period. Yeah. I love a nice little, Yeah. you can't see me kind of thing. <laughs> when do y'all feel most confident? Let's go down the line. When do y'all feel most confident? Never. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we should unpack <laughs> this. It was really just a joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, Lynn, go first. <laughs> I feel most confident, like, this is a, such a specific thing, and I don't know if anybody will understand unless you play, but there's always, like, that one game or that one moment when everything's, like, slowing down. Mm. Like, have you guys ever had that game where you're, like, everything's in slow motion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like that's when I feel my most confident. But usually it's, like, when I'm, like, outside of myself, like, talking to people. Because mm -hmm. I feel like in games, like, things happen, and you're like, oh, shoot, like, I messed up. Mm -hmm. And then you can, like, turn inside. But the second I can be, like move here, do this, blah, 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 or whatever, and I get outside of myself, like, I'm confident, again, in my abilities. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, like, forgetting that last pass and be like, we're human, I made a mistake, mm -hmm. but let me not turn inwards, let me just... Do um, it. Just do, yeah, <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> just yeah. do it. Um, I think I feel most confident, like, when I put on my uniform. I have, I feel like I've, I'm always in, like, soccer clothes and stuff, so I feel confident, like, just putting it on and I don't feel like anyone's judging me. I just feel more like confident in myself and I love to play soccer. So just like getting on the field and being able to play for any team that I'm on is just like, I feel confident in that. They're too busy being a cheerleader. <laughs> just so you know. Um, I would say when my mind is like the most free, I think it's really easy to get in your head in these environments and for me, when I just play soccer and I tell myself that it's the same game that I played when I was four years old, it changes everything. Like when I see myself play when I'm in my head and when I'm not, it's like a completely different person. So I think when I just put everything out the window, I know my role, I know my principles and just play like Trin. I mm -hmm. think that's just where I'll thrive. Yes, play like Trin. Okay, so we have this game. I want you to uncover <laughs> like your stack and if y'all want to trade, y'all can do tradesies. And I want y'all to uh, tell me about one of the moments. We just all pick ourselves. <laughs> A given. <But. laughs> tell me about one of the moments. I only have these two. What do you mean you only have those two? I know you won one. You gave them to Trin, didn't you? Oh yeah, she okay, definitely helped me. Her. Wait, who won this? Y'all went really fast. We, we no, they gave it to Trin. Yeah. Because she could we would have tied. Not. We would have tied. <laughs> I actually realized this was a pity party. <laughs> <laughs> you get a therapy session, you get a little kiki moment, and a pity party. You can talk about one what? memory in there or one well, moment is... in there. It doesn't yeah, have to be yourself, it can be yourself. Me. This was funny. This was a funny moment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that was. That was actually, like, when I was there, that was so funny. That was also incredible. Like, I, I couldn't I tell you kick, like what right? this is, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't tell you what that. Is. Like you look so like, happy. Yeah. This happened in the first game of my U20 World Cup, and I scored, and I was just so happy. Every time I score, I 
there's no feeling better for me <laughs> when I'm on the field. Just like, I am so happy and I was so happy that I got to be surrounded by my teammates and my friend assisted and we were just like, winning it was all it was all good time. <laughs> we were just being <laughs> down yeah um but yeah it was a really when good you point. score yeah. we were talking about this when you score you like run around oh my <laughs> no, god it's just like, well, I'm like, <laughs> come here <laughs> i'm not gonna chase you around this field this obviously world cup champions uh, i just remember like Growing up, I was always following the national team through like Snapchat and Instagram stories and all that and I would see behind the scenes of this and be like, that looks so fun. <laughs> but um, I don't know, I just feel like this picture in itself, it's like the work's done and I feel like everyone then just comes together in like the most powerful and amazing moment but also just like seeing how together our team can be and like the personalities and just like the culture. I don't know, it's great, and like we're such a team here that I hope it stays like this forever, and hopefully we can do that soon. Yes. I want to talk about this crazy lady. <laughs> Wait, um, pause, before you even um, talk about it. Is she really like this all the time? Yes. This is, this is truly Megan, People all the time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is Megan. Well, kind of like Trin said, like this also shows like the work is done, and I feel like if anybody knows how to party, it's the US Women's National Team, um, <laughs> after the work is done, because we worked so hard. In this moment, they are like getting the trophy, addressing basically the world. That was ticker tape, right? Yeah, and I feel like Megan like dropped the mic so many times, but then it's just like, celebrate your victories. Like sometimes I think like in this environment, we win and then we're like, okay, what's the next thing we have to do? But in these moments, like this one and that one, we finally get to celebrate. And so I hope that we get to celebrate at the end of this. I love it. On record, Alyssa, you have said that you, you've you been prepping your victory dances. Oh my gosh. This no. is your fault. You said, I know, I know, I know, you said I know. This. Can you show us? I don't, I have no celebrations. Like, I'm so bad at celebrations. Except for I running just, around and making Yeah, I'm running around it. smiling and screaming and being happy. I did the gritty, like, I grittied before, after a goal. I have done that. But I don't know if and I this is like a that. commitment or are you just letting that go? Don't no. be shy now. I don't know. <laughs> Give us a I, little if, grid. I, if I score, I know I won't be thinking about what my celebration <laughs> will be. I will just be like. I, I saw it forming in your fingers. No, I, no, I'll be like this. <laughs> I'll be surprised too. Like, like just how I always look when I score my first like goal. I'll just be like that. <laughs> I definitely looking, won't looking be for anybody's eyes. Yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. That means you need to like not run around. Yeah. You just need to stay. I might run around, I might, I don't know. I, I don't know, I haven't been thinking about that actually. She's like, I'm focused on soccer, not dancing, thanks. <laughs> In Trinity, your thing, social media, TikTok, and things like that, so I think it's time for you to teach us a little TikTok. Oh gosh. This is a dream come true for me. One, One two, two three. three. And then we all, yeah, three, and then we all do it together. together. How many One, beats, two, is it three. that many beats? Yeah, Let's just try. It's a lot. Okay, was was a, the intro is like kind of long. You can go ahead and play it because it's, it's, it's yeah. Take so a long do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you started with. <laughs> okay, Ooh, okay, let's get this started. <laughs> okay, don't be nervous. I can't. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>